sky. It's almost 11 p.m. at night, and a lot of people, before they go to bed, they think about various stuff. But there are some of us that would focus on getting out of body, astral traveling, astral projection, lucid dreaming, anything like it. And I just thought, like, hey, you know, like, a lot of people that I've been talking to, like, are getting back or are getting into the soul contract stuff, removing the agreements. And I thought, like, hey, I might just look for some things to address as regards getting out of body and see if any of you might get anything out of it. So... An issue or the item, the subject to address would be getting out of body. But this is like a massive category because some people can get out, some people cannot. And it's the whole cluster. It's like health or relationships or finances. And as we go deeper into it, let's say, well, most people want to get out of body, but they can't. So being unable, getting out of body would be like an area to address. So we can write it down. Unable to get out of body. It's kind of like the issue, the item, or area for addressing that stuff. And with that, I would go with like, okay, so, unable to get out of body. What's that all about? If, if I was a person who couldn't get out, and if I was having some issues, let's say, I can't remember my dreams. I can't, or I don't remember my dreams. I don't remember I don't remember my dreams. I don't dream. I can't get out of body. Um what else would be an issue as regards to unable to get out of body is like a huge area and it's like as I say relationships. So when it comes to relationships you can have issues with communicating and then unable to express yourself, unable to tell what you want, unable to be honest or maybe lying too much or you know, that white lie or something else. Uh, you might have issues with a certain person. So maybe your mom or your brother. And that whole thing is like a huge area. So you need to look at like issues that you have. And if you were to go into looking at why can't I get out of body? Like, yeah, the huge area that I'm addressing, like issues and finances would be, you know, like getting out of body and, you know, not being able to do it. So what else? So I don't have any visuals, for example. I don't have any visuals. Um, I don't know, like, I fall asleep and just wake up and nothing happens kind of thing. Um, and nothing that happens during the night would be a thing. Uh, also looking at, you know, like, I wake up feeling, like, drained or... Yeah. Oh. Rained, I wake up tired, wake up exhausted, I don't want to see entities, I don't want to be scared by weird beings, you know, you name it, reptilians, grace, a lot of people will have that fear that they want to get out of body. But, man, confronting that freaking reptilian and stuff... Um, I'm just going to move my little window here. Confronting that, like, possible reptilian, a gray or someone else is like, Ugh, I don't want that. I don't want any of that. Um, at the same time, you know, like, getting out of body... You can do so much when you get out. Explore and stuff and remember your past lives and understand more. So... Things connected to it is like you can't recall your past life, so you know, I would, but it's like a separate topic, so probably too big, so not worth adding. But as you look into this, you know, like I don't remember my dreams, I don't dream, I can't get out of body, I'm stuck in this body, would be a thing. Body, none of the, none of the techniques work, but then again, like none of the techniques work is too generalized. This is like as regards getting out of body or being unable to get out of body. And you would have to go with, um, let's say, to sleep is, I want to sleep, don't want to wake up, don't want to be in this world, I'm tired of this place, kind of thing. 
Uh, as regards techniques, there's so many. Um, climbing the rope, climbing the ladder, rolling out, like rolling like a log, or even falling, or using the stairs or the elevator. And these are just the very basics, but you have to, if you used it, um, you'd have to type it in, like, you know, like a rope climbing technique to get out of body doesn't work. And then again, I've tried a technique uh, like once or twice and it didn't work. <laughs> so like that's an issue, but even bigger of an issue is that you're too fucking lazy. So I'm too lazy as an agreement would be one thing. I'm too lazy to get up in the middle of the night to write down my dreams. Dreams, for example. Um, practice before going to sleep and there's just like tons of things that you can see but the thing about it is like we're looking at this general issue or general thing as regards being like unable to get out of body and all of these issues or agreements that we type down could be taken as a separate item completely and focus, like, these are all the issues and little things connected to you uh, not being able to get out of body. It's just one little part. When you sum it all up, for example, these are all the issues that stops you from getting out of body. And then again, you could go with, um, you know, I'm grounded. I'm grounded. So it's kind of like, it has double meanings, but like, you can... You can have your parents or someone else grounding you, saying you can't leave this house, you can't go anywhere. Or maybe in the military, you're grounded, you can't go, you can't fly, your flight is delayed. But the thing about it is that it kind of like clicks as a command, and it's like a hypnotic command it will ground your like astral body. You're grounded to this physical body, you can't leave, kind of thing. Uh, you might have implants and like things like that. So let's say I have... Anchors, anchors, I hope that's right. But yeah, like anchors would be a thing. Like a lot of people will have this anchor points that will hold their astral body connected to the physical one. Again, keeping you uh, anchored to the place is kind of like stuck in one place. Uh, but you can just go on and on and on and on with all of these possibilities. So I'm just gonna uh, hold up. Give you more space like that. And yeah, like, I'm just like, oh, like, looking at what else can I bring up that might be a possible issue for you people. Uh, did I talk about visuals? Did I talk about visuals? I don't remember, see, I don't have any visuals. Yeah, I don't have any visuals. Um, so, so some people, they will not have the memory of getting out of body. Some people might get out of body, but they don't really have a perception. They can't hear anything. They can't see anything. It's all blank. Um, but like, I can't remember my Ubis would be a thing. Remember my Ubis. About experiences. And the thing about it is, why can't you remember it? Well, I might have been fucked throughout the night. Uh, so... I'm being fucked with when I fall asleep. That goes in a few directions. You fall asleep, so... <laughs> You can literally have entities messing with your physical body, but also you can have out-of-body experiences and some beings just don't want you exploring. So you're going to be pushed back into the body and messed with and kept inside the body. Um, and that goes into opening up a whole different cluster of being a targeted individual, having entities in your space, having groups that are targeting you. Which would open up a whole different thing of why are they targeting you and there's a lot of times where we do something to piss someone off one way or the other and then now they're here to, for their revenge and they're like, oh, why are we attacking? Why are we being attacked? Why are we the victims? And it's like, yeah, yo, motherfucker, you did the damage and now you're just basically paying the price for that. Anyway, like, there's a lot of things to go. But when you think about, okay, I'm not getting, like, I'm not able to get out of body. And you look at what is it that you do throughout your daily life? Do you keep the dream journal? Um, no, not really. So, you know, like, I'm not keeping the dream 
dream journal is very important because it allows you to look into the more like precise details. So when you fall asleep and if it, even if it's just a dream, even if it's meaningless to you and it's like, yeah, whatever, you are sort of practicing and teaching yourself to pay attention to all those little details. It wakes you up. It makes you more aware. When you're not practicing, you're going to be asleep. You don't give a shit. You're not going to pay attention. You might remember fragments and little segments and little like uh, sceneries, but that's about it. And then, okay, you wake up and it takes just a few seconds for the whole memory to fade away. So, yeah, my memory fades away. Memory of my ubis or dreams and actual projections will fade away as I wake up. That's another thing. Um, ubis. Ubis, dreams, natural projection. Seconds after waking up. It's another agreement. So you would have to, like... These are agreements, but they're huge. Because each on its own, it could be addressed as a simple item. For example, let's take, you know, I don't remember my dreams. Like, these are all issues in one cluster. It's it's just like little pieces of this huge painting that, you know, you're not seeing. Your issue is like getting out of body, but you're seeing like, oh, I just can't get out. And you might not be aware of all of these things that you're having. So then we would break it down like, okay, well, why can't I get out? You have all of these items to sort of like see, okay, here's all the possible issues I can think of right now for people that might not be able to get out of body. And there's a whole lot more. Like the whole thing with people wanting to sleep, disconnecting from this world, not being here is one thing. But at the same time, not wanting to be awake, wanting to sleep. So that wanting to sleep is not just for the physical body. Your consciousness wants to sleep. When you get out of body, you want to sleep. You don't want to be there. You don't want to be in that world. You're tired. You want to sleep. And then there are, there's like whole patterns of your diet, your exercises, what you're doing, how often are you doing it. It's like people are trying to get out of body. They're going to use a technique once or twice. And it's the same as expecting to get abs or biceps after lifting weights for like two minutes twice in a whole year and like where's my fucking abs and my eye like biceps like pfft. this technique didn't work what the fuck are you talking about and that working fucking shit like fuck you unsubscribe and dislike and blog that motherfucker report it like yo <laughs> you know like some people are like zero effort or tries once and this didn't work i want a refund whatever with that being said <laughs> and me expressing my lovely self it's like you would look into what keeps you sort of stuck and then I don't dream. So the issue issue is I don't dream. So you just get curious. Well, what might be some of the reasons for me not being able, like, not, me not dreaming? Why can't I dream? And then there would be, like, um, I overstimulate my visuals. I don't know if overstimulate uh, is one word, but whatever. Overstimulate my visuals. And that would be... Blue light. It's coming from the PC, it's coming from the TV, it's coming from your phone. So just getting too much of blue light would be another thing. Um, blue light. Uh, at the same time, if you're watching movies and TV shows, it puts you into this like sub-reality. A lot of people are not aware of it. There's just tons of patents from Google that can affect your brain and really like mess with you and put things in your head and much more and you'd have to like look for google patterns as regards like the whole television mind control and everything else but at the same time whenever you're watching a movie whenever you're watching a tv show it's just putting you into that sub reality so part of you like a piece of you fragment of your consciousness goes there for the experience but you never really think about pulling it out the movie's over that was fun and it kind of stays there forever, unless you sort of think about getting that aspect back. And that part of you that's in the movie is experiencing everything, is experiencing the world, which is why at any point in time, if there's a movie that you have memorized or that you really like, like a Truman Show, Matrix, They Live, Inception, Interstellar, whatever that is your taste, you're like recalling those parts. You're reliving it. You're like, damn, that quote and that thing they said and that scene, that action, like whatever, that's your thing. 
it's like that part of you stuck in that world, living it constantly and sort of like in that reality. So it's just taking your sort of like energy. It's like, it's not a too big of a thing, but for people that love movies, it is so easy to watch it every night, enjoy the TV shows, enjoy the movies, and then watch how you're getting out of body is affected. How you're just getting all of yourself out there and then you don't have any dreams or, you know, hoobies and all this stuff. It's like, it just burns your brains, like, literally. Um, so there's that. Diet, like, for example, uh, you know, you might be into eating junk food. So, yeah, I love junk food. I love junk. I love junk food, for example. I don't want to eat just salad. I don't want to drink oranges like Aquilus says, for example. Or eat oranges. Twenty-four-seven. So, oranges will get you out of body if you do it, but do it alone for a few months, and it just helps with that ability. But like, well, I don't really want to. So you're not doing any of those. Uh, also, like, yeah, well, you're like, you have tons of issues in this world. Most of you probably do. So when you focus on the thing that has happened to you today, your car broke down, uh, you lost your credit card, um, your dog is sick, whatever's going on, you might have an issue with a neighbor or your lover, or anything. When you are focusing on this world and the worldly problems, even if it's entities and archons and whatever, the more you focus on it, and specifically the more material stuff, the more your attention is here. So the part of you that could get out of body, that could dream, that could see all of that, you're not going to remember it, you're not going to even look at it, because your attention is so here into this world. You cannot pull yourself out and get out, because you can't even imagine of possibilities out there. You don't allow yourself to dream, you don't pull yourself away, because your case, issues, and everything else keeps you stuck here to this physical body. Anyway, like I'm saying, all of these things, like the whole list over here that I have, is like an item, a separate topic to address. And each of these you would go into asking yourself tons of questions. Like for me, it's a bit harder because I can get out of body. It's a thing for me, like I'm just like fucking lucky. There's tons of reasons why. But for those that cannot, like I want to keep on exploring on what is your thing? Why can't you get out of body? And like, I'm just like naming a few that I thought of, but hey, People, people might have been, let's say, taking psychedelics. They might have been using weed and, you know, going for ayahuasca and going for other things. And oops, they kind of overused it. They kind of overdid it. And it might not look like that to you, but it's so easy to burn your energy shielding. It's so easy to fuck it up and all of a sudden there's going to be tons of entities coming into your space and messing with you and everything else. And, oh, boy, is that a thing. So anyway, here's my pretty self. Hello. <sighs> It's, it's huge. It's huge. And like, um, I wouldn't mind connecting to some of you and just like talking about these things and helping you find those issues, like maybe covering it live, just like see how, how many agreements we can pull out. And like, I'm going to do it. I'm going to look for like different subjects that I can address and do the whole soul contract vocation and just sort of like show you a true out like example of how deep it can go. Because once you find a little item, like, you know, not being able to get out of body is a cluster. It's the same as having communication issues or having financial issues or, you know, like uh, unable to get a job. There's tons of reasons why. And so you look into all those reasons, which is like all the reasons for why you can't get out of body. You take one of that reason as a separate topic to address and you talk about it. You ask yourself questions. Why? Why can't I get out? What might be some of the reasons? Is it helping me in any way? Are there any advantages to that thing or no advantages? And at the time... It might seem like there are no advantages, but every single bit of that has an advantage. For example, you can't get out of body. If you would get out of body, you would see so much shit that it would fuck your mind up. As in, in a good way. In a good way where it just blows your, like, world. Because the way we perceive reality is one thing. Once you get out, everything changes. Once you're able to experience that reality, everything changes. But it's addictive. 
because you escape from this place, you escape from this physical body, you escape from all your issues and physical stuff and the pain and everything else. There are bad places. Uh, I have some people that are saying I sugarcoat everything, so just to add a little bit <laughs> salt on it all, there are tons of bad places and tons of beings that will like to kill you and mess you up and put you in the traps and everything else, and there's a whole lot more coming up. But if you were able to escape duality, if you were able to get out of body and not be in the solar system, not be in the 3D, that's what I'm talking about. It gets addictive because you can't feel pain. If you go to the right places, and there are those, you, you don't feel pain. You don't feel all of these things. Like I, there's, there's been tons of times where I lost my limbs, where I've been killed and I didn't feel pain. I just like got up like, you know, if you play any video games, Elden Ring, for example, you die. And the game teaches you that it's okay because you're gonna get back in game and you can continue on until you do what you want to do. And you don't feel pain. You're like a player, you're controlling the character, the character does all the fighting and everything else and, you know, you're experiencing it, but there is no damage. You're just like, oh, well, my body disappeared, but I'm gonna revive in seconds, that's fine. So there's like tons of things that, like, advantage of, like, not knowing what it is to get out of body is that you don't have the addiction because once you get it, some people might have that one technique that works once. Just once. And then you might try for weeks and weeks and weeks and nothing happens. And you've experienced the better world. You experience like, oh my god, it's so good there. You want to get back and you start hating this world even more. And then the more you hate this world, the more you focus on the problems. And the more you're like, I can't get out of body and this is happening. You get angry, you get mad. And the whole case blows up one way or the other. And it's just like keeps you anchored to this physical body, keeps you anchored here. So there's like advantages of like not being able or like not getting addicted to the good stuff, advantages of not being attacked by certain groups. Because once you get out, there are tons of beings that don't want you to find out about what's going on. So if you snoop around the moon or Jupiter or Saturn, there's like beings that are like, hey, motherfucker, you're in the wrong place. Let's get you back home. And, you know, they will wipe your memory. They will push you back into the body. They might scare you off. They might do something that will like limit your perception and then you will believe the what you perceived and all of a sudden you're limit like you're limiting yourself so tons of things can happen but if you look into why can't i get out of body and tons of things related to address to it and you go deeper into just one of them you're gonna find hundreds of agreements related to it and then you get rid of that little thing properly not just i revoke it and that's done you go deep into it. It's not just saying the word. Uh, it'll be great if saying the words work, but a lot of people don't look at that. After you, you revoke those agreements, they can come back. So you have to revoke the ability to bring back those agreements, the reinstatement clauses, and like remove other beings and entities that will hold those agreements put it with you. So you're moved from your end, but the whole world will have your case. It's like you thinking, oh, well, uh, I'm putting my photo on Facebook, and then I'm going to delete it. But there's a bunch of people that already took the screenshot, that already saved it and stuff like that. So it's like, yeah, whatever. You know, you're removing it for yourself, revoking the agreement, assuming that it's is going to change. While a bunch of beings in the world will have your photo and stuff, like an agreement, uh, they can bring it back at any time. And it's not really, really disappearing from your world, which is why you need to remove every possible copy out there. And, you know, you do it consciously. Like, and any being that has my agreement, like, it goes so... There's a lot of things connected to it, like the whole meditation, well, <laughs> I call it meditation, it's like a little work. For me, I use my visuals because it helps. For those that don't have the visuals, it's literally the intention and the understanding the process. It's like some people use martial arts, kung fu or whatever, whatever works for you. There's a certain routine you follow. Before you work out, you do the warm-up. So it's basically, you know the routine. There are certain exercises you need to do to get to the point of achieving your goal. And same with getting, like, getting rid of the agreements. It's not just stating the words, it's going through the whole process that will clearly eliminate it from the whole core. Things you're aware of and not aware of. But anyway, it's a deep topic. And I was just like, thought of like, hey, let's, let's bring it up. Uh, if you watch this whole part up to here, awesome. Uh, think of it, like, if you have issues as regards to getting out of body, what are they? Like, name anything you can think of. Make a little list here in the comments for yourself. A lot of people might be looking into their issues and they might see something they have in your comments that they were not aware of before. And uh, we can actually grab one of those little issues, little items. Maybe I can talk to one of you online and I can help you like call up those all, like find as many agreements as possible, 
as possible on one little issue and then we can do the whole revocation as a demo so anyway i'm here just like talking so hopefully you get something out of it the, the whole point as regards finding agreements is just being self-aware it's self-awareness 24 7. you don't have to get out of body to find agreements it's like yeah great that would be cool if you did but who needs that shit? it's like i'm gonna gain muscle if i get out of body but you can actually work out and do it here um do you want to practice getting out of body and then getting some gains or do you want to get some gains right now same shit it's like pff, not much of a difference but that being said it's just like whatever issue you have in life like i just talked about a little bit as regards like getting out of body but whatever thing you have in life is there's like huge areas in life and then you try to go smaller into what's in that area as regards like relationships and what kind of people and what about you and what triggers you and everything else like maybe i'm a targeted individual like okay well that's an area of being targeted individual what about it and like well i feel like i'm constantly followed and i am constantly followed and like everyone's watching my stuff and blah, 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 and it makes me feel like i don't have a life and i have no privacy and i'm really fucked up and every day is like uh i don't want to live here anymore like you just like name all those things but everything you say it's just your perception, what you believe about this world. It's your decisions, your beliefs, your thoughts, your feelings, and everything else connected. These are all your agreements. It's basically what creates this reality for you. Everything you feel, if you feel like, yeah, this world is fucked up, that's your agreement. Because you feel like it, and you don't see the airway right now. So what you currently feel, what you currently see, what you currently think and all, it's all of your agreements. And it's basically... It's a process. It's not like you're gonna get rid of this one item and your whole world will change. It's not an easy and fun technique, but it goes deep. So anyway, I can talk on and on and on about it, but thanks for watching and hopefully this was somewhat useful and we might go deeper into this whole thing. But yeah, that's about it for now and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.